First, the outer contour of the workpiece is rough milled. Here, G41 is used, radius compensation left. This ensures that the machine does not follow the contour directly, but with an offset according to the tool radius. In this way, the contour remains accurate to size despite the tool diameter. G46 complements this by ensuring that the tool does not cut in abruptly, but enters the path smoothly, protecting both tool and workpiece and avoiding poor surface quality. The milling path starts at X0, Y2.5. From there, it follows a sequence of straight lines and circular arcs. And that's it? That went a bit too fast? Let's take a closer look. With G1, the tool first travels a straight line to the left. Since the RN parameter is negative here, a chamfer is created at the end of this line. In other words, the corner is slightly beveled so that no sharp 90-degree angle remains. This is followed by a shorter straight line upwards. After that comes a series of circular arcs, clockwise and counterclockwise. The clockwise arcs are programmed with G2. The counterclockwise arcs are created via the RN parameter. Wait a minute, RN? Wasn't that a chamfer just now? Correct, but here RN is positive. And with positive values, Rn does not create a chamfer but a rounding. In other words, a circular arc, in this case, counterclockwise. Finally, G1 travels straight down. Rn, now again with a negative value, creates another chamfer before the tool returns to the center with G1. With program repetition G23, the contour is then machined again, this time with a deeper depth of cut to reach the required final depth. Next, using the circular pocket milling cycle G73, a circular pocket is milled to a depth of 10 mm with a radius of 12 mm. This is followed by a crescent-shaped contour pocket, created with circular arcs, G2 and G3, and straight lines, G1. Inside this crescent pocket, three smaller rectangular pockets are then milled using the rectangular pocket cycle G72 in several passes on a partial circle with a radius of 36 mm. Their orientation toward the circle center is 45 degrees each. After that, all machined surfaces are finish milled to size in several passes. The three rectangular pockets are chamfered. Finally, four holes are prepared for M10 threads. 